Doll Flawless. In today's video, I'm sharing how I created this SVG file type in the Silhouette Business Edition software so that I can use the same file in my Cricut Design space. Now you must have the Silhouette Business Edition software. It's a one-time purchase and that's the only one that will allow you to actually create and save your file types as an SVG. Now what I did was I went to the font that I wanted, I typed in ho ho ho, and at the top you're gonna to see that little star, that's the offset option inside of the Silhouette Business Edition software. Now it's gonna create an offset, which is again something we cannot do in Cricut Design Space, and I'm going up to File, I'm going to click Save As, and the Save As type must be an SVG. That's the only way you can save it and then upload it into Cricut Design Space. My screen capture software is only capturing the things within the app, so I don't know what's going on with that but I had already recorded this and was not going to refilm it again so just follow those steps once you hit file it's like two steps and that's it now I'm going to show you what this looks like over in the Cricut design space software now we are over in the Cricut Design Space software and we're going to upload our SVG that we created over in the Silhouette Business Design <laughs> or the Business Edition software. And it's right here, there's nothing wrong with it. If it was the wrong file type, it would let us know and we wouldn't be able to do anything with it. So you want to name your image and add your tags and then go ahead and save this and that's so that you can find your image later on. Now this is going to be uploaded as an image so it's always going to be in your image files. Once you create something with it in design space then it will be saved as an actual project. Now another thing to note when you import your SVGs into Cricut Design Space, please be aware that when you open it, it is not going to be the same size as it was when you were working with it over in the Silhouette Business Edition software. You will need to resize. Personally, I keep a notebook of any kind of SVG um, files that I create on my own with the sizing so that I can reference my notebook or I'll just open up the Silhouette Business Edition software, search through it in my library so that I can figure out what size and it was. I only really need to do that once because once it's over and Cricut Design Space is saved and I can do whatever it is that I need to do with it. Now, after that, um, if this was like a 3D project, you would have to attach your score lines. However, I do have a video speaking about that. I will have that in the description box. I don't really wanna go into that in this video. So really the tutorial would be done here. You can just go ahead and Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I am going to speak a little more on this. So if you wanna hear why this is important to me as a consumer of a Cricut maker, then you can go ahead and continue to watch. Now, I purchased my Cricut machines a couple years ago and I absolutely love my Cricut makers. I wouldn't change anything about it outside of the software. I personally feel like doing an offset is something that we should be able to do in Cricut Design Space. I have no clue why. There's plenty of Cricut consumers who have been complaining about this literally for years. We do get new blades, we get all of that, but we have not gotten any major updates as far as the software making it more powerful in a sense of being able to do more things with it. Um, we can do more things with the blades, but we cannot create an offset without doing the different hacks that you see bouncing around on YouTube. So the one-time investment for me for the Silhouette Business Edition software was worth the one-time investment because it's just opened up so much that I can actually do with my Cricut makers. So this isn't really a silhouette versus Cricut type of video. I'm not even really gonna entertain that idea because I like what I like, it's personal preference. And I really dislike when we all try to get talked into what other people like. I like my Cricut machines, but they don't do everything I want them to do. So therefore I found that the silhouette Business Edition software is amazing. Their design store is awesome. They actually, in my opinion, have better designs in their uh, design store than Cricut does. Um, so Cricut can definitely learn a lot from Silhouette, but I love the look and the style and even the sound of my Cricut Maker. I love to hear it sit there and just 
cut out the different things. So that's how I pretty much get the best of both worlds for both companies. I'm not affiliated with either. So as a consumer, I'm just telling you how I'm making my investments work for me. I love my Cricut makers. Honestly, I've been thinking about buying a third and a fourth but I'm gonna just chill on that until they can actually do something with this software. Because if I'm going to invert, invest in another machine, it might as well just go ahead and be silhouette. And they'll probably just win me over completely. But I, I've heard the silhouettes and I really dislike the sound that they make when they cut out. It just, it bothers my ears. And I can be cutting at two, three o'clock in the morning and don't have to worry about, you know, waking anyone up if I'm in any of my offices. So therefore, that's why I like what I like and I have what I have. And I really hope that this information that I'm sharing helps you out. Um, I will be doing another video on how I take the Nicole Silhouette SVGs, though they are intended for um, silhouette makers or silhouette users and their software, you can go ahead and use them in the Cricut Design Space software. So that's probably my next tutorial that will be uploaded. I've already filmed it. I just have to finish editing it. And that's all. Don't forget to check the description box for the other video that I was speaking about as far as important non Cricut design space, design space SVGs into the design space software. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope this was a thorough enough explanation <laughs> and I will see you all in the next video. Have a gorgeous day, Dallas. Smooches. Mwah.